So I've got a like 2003 version of a DCS cooktop. It's a um, it's a CT 365 SS L, and um, I have a clogged simmer jet, and that's what this little guy is here. You can probably just barely see the hole in the in the top of it. In any case, I've got it attached with a pair of tweezers, and that's a needle next to it just to give you a perspective of the size of the hole. Um, unable to um, basically unable to try and you know poke it with the with the needle and um, and get it through the hole. You can see the tip is so so small. And um, so what I did do just as a uh, FYI, I took this thing that was completely clogged up, and you can see I've got a wire going through it now. And I'm just scoring that wire back and forth a little bit to clean out all the gunk in there. But before I could even get this wire through, I had to um, boil it. And um, uh, I put it in a saucepan and I let it boil for about maybe 10 minutes on low heat, but it was boiling. And I had the little bolt, or the little jet rather, um, right on the edge of the pan where the, where the flame was kind of causing it to, to bubble. So therefore it would kind of gyrate a little bit inside the pan and knock things free. Um, regarding the wire, I took this strand wire here that you can see, and I just peeled off one particular strand, and um, that's how I um, found a wire that was small enough to go inside the damn thing. And um, so now that I've got that, um, you know, I basically I'm just taking this wire and I'm pulling it back and forth through it. Um, terrible video, but you know you get what you pay for. Um, so in any case, um, that's that's basically the deal. Um, the other thing is that um, these these jets, I'm told, you know, affect the igniting. That uh, if they're not all the way, I'm just kind of working this while I'm talking. If they're not, um, uh, you know, completely clear, then the uh, igniter, which I guess is also a sensor, recognizes that and it will keep clicking away. Um, I have a bigger problem than that. I have to actually change the reigniter module which I've ordered and by the way those damn things are um, becoming very hard to find also so um, in any case uh, this is the basically the deal and um, so I'll pull this wire out so you can get a perspective of it now um, so I've kind of cleaned that up and it is definitely hollow based on putting the wire through there and it's a tiny 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 little hole um, I did take a tiny little drill tip and I just scored the top of it in order to um, allow the uh, the wire to kind of go down into the hole to, as a starter. I also fed it in from the back when I, and I put that I poked that wire through while it was while it was hot um, you know while the the unit the piece was hot and while the water had just been boiling over you can see right through that there's a little bit of light going through. In any case, um, that's the deal. I contemplated trying to find these things online. They're not online. So basically, you got to clean these things. And um, that's my story. See ya.